7.30 right here. Thanks for tuning in to Morning Cruise Control on Eagle 810. And joining me on the line right now, I have the commander of U.S. Army Garrison Japan, Colonel William Johnson. Sir, good morning and a happy new year to you. Hey, good morning, Chris. Happy new year to you. How was your holiday? It was fantastic. I mean, uh, I left a little bit earlier than the usual holiday, but I went back home, got to see the family, do some stuff. Uh, it was nice being back in the States, but I'm glad to be back in Japan. And, you know, I hope you also had a great uh, break over the weekend as well. Yeah. Absolutely. You know, it's uh, just, a, just a great time of year to take a step back and relax a little bit and enjoy family and friends, which was, which was great. So, yeah, we also brought in this 2016 here with the Red and Blue New Year's party at the Camp Islamic Community Club. I think it was pretty fun. And, well, now we're back to work. So the parties are over, and it's time to get down to the brass tacks and get some stuff done. Absolutely. It's time to get focused on 2016. And, of course, we want to start talking about some things coming up for Camp Zama. The first thing we wanted to touch over is... Uh, observances for Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, next Thursday, January 14th, in honor of the late uh, Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King, our 78th Signal Battalion is going to host our Camp Zama Martin Luther King observance at 2 p.m. at our Community Activity Center. Our guest speaker is going to be Command Sergeant Major Darius Curry, uh, who's coming to us from Fort Shafter, Hawaii's 311 Signal Command. Our theme this year is a day of service and we're going to welcome anyone from the community, our neighboring installations, and our Japanese friends to participate uh, when we remember Dr. King and countless others who took part in the civil rights movement uh, that really helped bring tremendous change to our nation. And then I'd like to all, all take the opportunity, if I could, to remind all the listeners that, you know, Monday, January 18th is a federal holiday and people will be off uh, and probably traveling, which they should, and enjoying their time with family. But um, just be careful out there on the roads. Uh, we got the mild winter so far, but you never know. The weather could come in and... It could be dangerous out there, so please be careful. Yeah, a little bit of uh, readiness goes a long way, especially on those long weekends. And, of course, speaking of readiness, Camp Zama, you guys are always doing exercises, getting ready for the next thing, you know, uh, if it happens. Speaking of which, you got a shakeout drill on the horizon. Yeah, we sure do. In, in concert with, you know, the local Japanese community, January 22nd is going to be a busy day. Um, 11 a.m. on January 22nd, we'll host our annual earthquake shakeout drill. Uh, in conjunction with the local community. It's to ensure all of our soldiers, civilians, and local national employees are prepared to respond in the event of a big earthquake. And as everybody knows, you know, this is earthquake territory here in Japan. Um, so during the drill, you know, we'll, we'll do the procedures of drop to the ground, find cover under a desk or doorway, and hold on until the shaking is stopped. And these drills are just opportunities for us to participate, I'm mean, sorry, to, to practice how we protect ourselves during an earthquake. Um, later that day, our, it takes a community forum, which is a recurring event here about quarterly. Um, we're going to focus on disaster preparedness. So following the drill at 4 p.m. Uh, that same day, January 22nd, we're going to host our uh, takes community forum at the Camp Zama Community Club uh, and talk about how to be prepared in the event of a disaster or emergency. Topics, get, topics of discussion are going to include uh, hazards like volcanoes, blizzards, typhoons, floods, and especially earthquakes and tsunamis for here in Japan. Um, we'll also have an earthquake simulator on hand, which can be a challenge if you've ever been one of those things. You're actually a little bit nerve-wracking when you get in there to see what a real earthquake is like. And just a lot of information about how to be better prepared, how to prep your uh, evacuation, emergency evacuation packet in the event we would have to evacuate uh, Japan. And finally, if that's not enough to get you out there, our commanding general, General Pascarette, is going to be hosting a town hall meeting, community town hall meeting. He wants to talk about topics of interest for the community, um, and as well, talk a little bit about his way ahead to the command in 2016. That's just a great opportunity to hear from our commanding general following our It Takes Security Forum. I really encourage everybody to come out and be part of that. Then last but not least that day, if we can't get you out for the community forum and we can't get you out for the general's town hall, we also have community night. So starting at 6.15 p.m., MWR is going to close out the evening with the quarterly community night. Um, if you've never been to one before, it's you know free food, free beverages and entertainment free of charge. So all free and a good time to come out and just, you know, spirit of camaraderie, spend some time with each other, um, and hopefully come a little bit earlier and get the disaster preparedness stuff and hear from the general. Yeah, it certainly sounds like an action-packed day. Now, uh, another thing that people should be looking forward to is uh, eventually people do transition from active duty to the civilian sector, and you've got a, a workshop to help ease that, stru or that transition for them. Coming on up. Yeah, we do, Chris. So... You know, in the community as you interact around here, we have a number of transitioning service members and family members who are looking for employment or future employment. So from January 25th through the 29th, our 
Uh, U.S. Army Garrison Japan Transition Services Office will be hosting a Department of Labor Employment Workshop at the Camp Zama Education Center daily from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. So that whole week, January 25th to the 29th, you can go in and get great information uh, about veterans' benefits, uh, family members' understanding about job search skills, current information about topics such as the hiring process, how to do an interview, how to, wait, how to evaluate a job offer once you get one, and so on. Uh, registration is required, so we ask that people contact the Japan Transition Services Office for more information. Uh, now, that's at DSN 263-8359 or by commercial from your cell phone at 046-407-8359. You can also get information at our Garrison Facebook page, as always, you know, www.facebook.com slash USAGJ. All right, and we also like to always highlight some of the hot topics that Camp Zama has. So what can we expect in the month of January? Well, yeah, here's a few things that we got going on. That if you have other Veterans Affairs related questions outside of the, the seminar I just mentioned, make an appointment with our VA Military Services Coordinator. Um, you know, this, this month they'll be at our Camp Zama Education Center, January 14th and 15th, uh, 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m., just to discuss any various uh, veteran benefits. Uh, you can call 263 Five three one one to get in on that. Um, we also now have advanced tickets for sale for the upcoming Camp Zama Community Club Super Bowl party happening on February 8th. Price is just $5 now in advance and will go up to $8 on January 26th. First 100 people that get those tickets have a chance to win two round-trip airline tickets to the USA. So that's a pretty sweet deal for just a $5 ticket. Uh, and I think that's a great event. I've heard every year folks turn out in, in droves for the big Super Bowl party here in the middle of the night. So, uh, Look forward to seeing a lot of folks there written on their favorite team. Absolutely, and a, and a chance to win two airline tickets, that's pretty sweet right there. So, of course, we, we talked about a wealth of information this uh, this interview, and we want to just kind of recap things real briefly right here. There is a 78th Signal Battalion going to be hosting the Martin Luther King Observance the 14th of January. It's going to be at 2 p.m. at Camp Zama's Community Activity Center. U.S. Army Garrison Japan is going to conduct an earthquake shakeout drill in conjunction with the local Zama City community on the 22nd of January. This is going to be occurring at 11 in the morning. And that same day, there's also going to be the It Takes a Community Forum to prepare for natural disasters. It's going to be at the town hall. And there's, um, there's also going to be a town hall that day occurring and community night because the uh, general is going to be having his town hall meeting. So a lot going on the 22nd of January. Make sure you're all out and about Camp Zama. This all starts at 11, goes on until the night. Now, of course, there's also a U.S. Army Garrison Japan Transition Services Office hosting the Department of Labor Employment Workshop at the Camp Zama Education Center. And this is going to occur from the 25th to the 29th of January, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. So you have to pre-register for that. And, of course, the hot topics that we just mentioned. Now, uh, sir, any closing statements you have for us? No, Chris, the only thing I would say, first of all, is thank you. Really appreciate you giving us the opportunity, you know, me and my peers, to get on and, and let the community out there know about what's going on in our various installations. It's a, it's a great service you guys provide, and it, hopefully I think it's helpful to folks, but um, sometimes these things go by fast, you know, and if you didn't get any of the pertinent details, you can always turn to our Bugle newsletter. You can, you can get it, you know, our weekly email newsletter that gives you all the happenings around here. And then, of course, the Facebook page I mentioned earlier. It's at facebook.com. USAGJ is our official source of news and information for events in the community. So turn there if you missed anything today uh, and want some more info about what's going on here at U.S. Army Garrison Japan. And for everybody out there, just thanks for all you do. Have a happy new year and uh, be safe. Okay, and of course, sir, uh, I understand you had a song request. You, you've been having a pretty good string of requests so far. What do you have for us this morning? Well, I appreciate that, Chris. You must uh, have an old soul or something because I like the, I like the throwbacks, you know. But uh, I think today we'll, we'll give it a try on uh, some Smashing Pumpkins. How about uh, 1979? That's an awesome choice, sir. Of course, I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I'll talk to you next month. All right. Thanks, pal. Appreciate it.